Hi everyone, I'm Steve here with David Wright. Thanks for being with us, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right, David is at our Fitness for 10 in Carson City in our little media studio there. So we're gonna talk about, this is really um, divisive, I would say, and even controversial. And we're talking about what people put into their bodies. Specifically, you are and I am on TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. So like the title says, um, or like I say, I am enhanced, but it's a good thing. So it's not like it's cheating. It's not like I'm doing something detrimental to my health so that I can look a certain way. Because look, I got skinny arms, I got skinny legs, and people make fun of my arms, they make fun of my legs, they even call me fat. So um, this is not some magic formula, but a normal level of hormones, an optimal level of hormones is ideal to maximize your health, right? Yeah, I completely agree with that, Steve. And, you know, there's a lot of misinformation that floats around, um, you know, similar to a lot of things we see in the fitness industry, but this is a huge one, like you said, very kind of divisive. There's people on both sides of the fence on this. And, and to be completely honest with you, you know, as a fitness competitor myself, um, you know, you see a lot of different things going on here, a lot of different things going on, even with TRT as an example, you know, someone thinks if, you know, even if you're getting therapeutic doses, which to me, when I talk about that is, you know, you're not going in some, you know, back alley getting, you know, giant shots of testosterone to make you look like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger overnight, that type of thing. Um, but from, you know, from a physician where, you know, your levels aren't where they need to be or where they should be for your age and, you know, fitness level and that type of thing. And, you know, you go through that therapy process to, to get there, to be where you at least should be. Um, you know, for me personally, I, you know, I was in the low two hundreds, which for somebody, when I started, you know, four years ago, that's way, way low, especially, you know, I was a competitor then as well, worked out six to seven days a week. So as we work out, you know, a lot that produces testosterone, you know, that my testosterone should have been probably, I don't know, 800, somewhere like that, because of how, you know, my fitness level was, and it wasn't. So that's a huge problem that can also have, you know, adverse side effects when it's too low fatigue and a whole bunch of other stuff. And so for me, it was, you know, I should be seeing even better results, I shouldn't be so tired, there's a lot of things that were going on. And so for me, when I went to go get that checked, it was like, wow, that's, you know, I'd probably be at next to none if in fact you know i didn't work out and i didn't eat right and all these other things that i was doing so i think the misconception commonly out there is you know even just around trt is controversial for whatever reason is folks that maybe you know do you know huge amounts of those types of things and they you know are considered to be you know cheating and whatever else and, and to me it's like you don't you don't really know what that person you know is even taking or, or whatnot, but you look at yourself and you look at what you're doing. For me, would I say I'm enhanced? Of course I am, because if I wasn't, you know, I would be at probably again, staying at around 200, maybe even less at this point, you know, because of the, where the levels were. So from there, am I enhanced? Absolutely. I am because otherwise I wouldn't be able to, to do the things that I like to do, like the fitness competitions, am I enhanced to the level that maybe some other people are? Of course not. Um, but when we throw around the word enhanced, a lot of people get such a negative idea and you can be enhanced, you know, by all sorts of different things. And it's not necessarily just testosterone or hormones. It's, you know, any other kind of supplements, vitamins that can, you know, enhance performance. Now, if you guys have questions, put them in the comment section. And I do have an affiliation with Royal Medical. There's a link in the description, a phone number. You can call Dane. Use the promo code uh, VITALITY1 uh, for a really nice discount. I mean, I think it's $195 the first month, and then you get $45 off the next five months. So it's $150, and that includes your uh, testosterone, your medications, 
uh, your consultations and your blood work. So that's pretty good. Now, I also recommend that you talk to your own doctor uh, and maybe check out some other clinics. Don't just look at one. Make sure you look at um, multiple places. But that's what David's talking about when you do it right. You do it with a physician. You do blood work and you make sure you're doing it right. So it low testosterone, the reason um, my doctor put it on, put me on there on it is because my testosterone was low and I had no symptoms, none, but my testosterone was probably 300 um, too low. I'm, I'm 61 right now. It's not optimal. So there's health risks with low testosterone. And when you get your testosterone optimized, so for some people that's 900, for some people it might be 1400, talk to your doctor, um, work that out with your doctor and get it optimized so that you can maximize your health. Now, I do recommend that if you're feeling really good and your testosterone is, you know, 750, um, and you have no symptoms and you're feeling great, there's, there's probably no reason to get on TRT. Um, mm -hmm. If you are having symptoms, maybe you should. But here's something that you always, I tell people to always consider. Once you start this, you're going to be doing injections for the rest of your life. So are yeah. you ready to do injections for the rest of your life? twice a week, in my opinion, is optimal. So are you ready to start doing that? So it's all about your health. And as far as the optimization, there's lots of things that I do that, that enhance my strength and my health. So don't, there's no shame in being enhanced. There's no shame in, it's not cheating to optimize your hormones. It's just not. And so it shouldn't be looked down on. Now, is it a steroid cycle? No. Is it magic? You know, like taking a bunch of gear and doing all that? No, it's not like that. You're not going to turn into Superman. Not only are you not going to turn into Superman overnight, you're never going to turn into Superman. <laughs> all you're doing is you're maximizing your health. And you will notice that your workouts are enhanced, that you feel better. But how is that a bad thing, especially if you're eliminating the risk of so many things that your doctor can tell you about the risk that low testosterone brings? So in my opinion, it's important to be enhanced in that area. And, you know, if someone takes creatine and someone else doesn't, is that person on the creatine enhanced? Yeah, absolutely. They are. Creatine's going to enhance your performance, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that will, you know, enhance performance in different ways. And so, um, you know, everybody, you know, there's different people think different things, you know, even creatine, you know, gosh, if I take creatine, you know, it's, you know, I've even heard it so far as being described as well. You know, that's kind of like steroids. It couldn't be further, of course, from the truth. Creatine is one of the, you know, safest, cleanest things that you can take, of course, depending on where you're getting it from. And again, looking at ingredients, making sure it's a, a pure creatine, but you know, that's one of the best things that you can do, you know, to, to help enhance your performance in the gym and, you know, just in daily life really is creatine is really great. So it, it just really takes, um, you know, understanding what it is. Cause again, it's not a steroid cycle. You know, there's a lot of other, you know, banned and illegal substances that certain people might take and whatever, and that's their own business, but something like a TRT, that's something that can have real health benefits, whether you're a competitor like me or, you know, you know, somebody who doesn't compete and just wants to feel better and wants to be at that optimal level to your point. That's that's what exactly it's there for. And consulting with your doctor and understanding what that level is, is really important. Yeah. And you, hey, you guys want to be enhanced? Try NAD. I take it with an insulin needle. There's a description or there's a link in the descriptions to, for uh, that also. That's um, Invigor uh, Medical. And you can, you can check that out and do some research on that too. And they sell lots of different peptides and so on. So talk about being enhanced. That, that blew my mind. You know, after about a week and a half 
two weeks of that NAD, I'm like, wow, it's like everything got better, but my health got better. So are these steroid cycles? No, it's not a steroid cycle. Steroids are different. They work different. Um, testosterone is a naturally occurring substance in the body. You're just taking it exogenously from the outside coming in. Um, but you're not taking steroid cycles. You're taking, it's called replacement. You're replacing what has been lost. You're bringing it back up to a normal level and bringing your health back up to where it may have been 20 years ago. So any last thoughts, David? Yeah, no, I just think it's really important um, in order for people to understand what the benefits are and not be afraid of it. Like testosterone, for instance, some people don't go and even look into it because they think, oh, I'm going to be on gear, I'm going to be on steroids, all these things, and there's all these negative connotations to it. And in reality, that's not it at all. That's not considered gear and steroids and all of that. You know, that's a whole different conversation and a whole different thing, but never be, you know, you're apprehensive about at least going to your doctor, talking about it, understanding it. And, you know, if that's something that you need to, you know, optimize your health, then that's what, that's what you should do. Yeah. Last thing I'll say, David, is think about it. And this is how I put it in perspective. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm nothing. I'm just a guy who owns health clubs. But if you think about this, what happens to your health? If you get leaner, you lose body fat and you put muscle tissue on. Your health is going to improve in every single category because that's what happens when you get leaner and you put muscle tissue on. Everything gets healthier. You are probably going to be healthier in every way. That's why you need to talk to your doctor about it. Absolutely. All right, David. So if people want to follow you on social media, how can they find you? So I've got two Instagram pages, one that kind of tracks my progress towards my show in August and kind of my before and after transformation. That's on Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness. And then for training tips, personal training, uh, boot camps, things like that. My new training page that I just put up a little bit ago is at Wright Fitness Training. All right. Thanks for being with us, David. Thanks, Steve.